Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is just a little, little bit of a tip. If you have some text, and you grab your shape tool, you can select the John Smith, all those nodes, and you can move them about, and you can move them up and down, and uh, change the color, you know, do whatever you want to with them. But here's a pretty good little insight. If you take the shape, the text tool, holding down the control and the shift button, and use the greater or lesser than sign, you can move that John Smith, just nudge him over. Go the opposite way by holding down the other one. Now, the reason I kind of made that video, sometimes it, there's a fine line when you're trying to grab that. And if you hit that, you do this. So there's like a fine line right there of marking that. So if you do the same thing with your arrow keys, let's get our text tool. Hold down the shift and the control button and just cursor over. You can do what you need to do because there's a fine line when you have the text tool that you have to be right on that text to make that. And then if you grab that, you're going to move this. So you can't just hold down your mouse button. Well, I guess that's what the, the problem is. You need to hold down the left mouse button, and then you won't get that. Let's try that one more time. But see, there's like a fine line. And if you grab that, see, that it doesn't matter. I'm holding down the mouse button, and I'm squeezing my text. Well, if I use the shift and the arrow keys, that won't happen. When you're selecting those texts, and if you want to make them blue, make them bold, you know, selecting the text out of a bunch of other texts. Try to get back here to, to black. You could do the same thing with the shape tool. Just select, well, you could select just the John, make it blue, but you can't, you, know, you can make it bold. You can do the same thing, but it, it's just another, another way to do something. And I find this a lot easier when you're marking the text to get the shape tool and just click on it right there, hold down the shift, and then you can go as far as you want. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.